Green technology, think solar panels, electric cars and wind turbines, is transforming how we power our world. These innovations are not just futuristic concepts, they're already reshaping our daily lives, from the way we drive to how we light our homes and run our businesses. The goal? Reduce our environmental impact and cut the carbon emissions driving climate change. By shifting to cleaner energy sources, we're aiming to slow global warming and create a healthier environment for future generations. For decades, fossil fuels powered our lives, but polluted our air and warmed our planet. The consequences have been clear. Rising sea levels, extreme weather, and health problems linked to dirty air. Now, solar and wind are cheaper than ever, and countries are racing to adopt them. The rapid drop in costs has made renewables more accessible, even in developing regions. In 2023, China installed more solar panels than the rest of the world combined the year before. This massive investment is helping to shift the global energy balance toward renewables. In the US, most new energy in 2024 came from wind and solar. Across the country, clean energy is becoming the new normal, powering homes, schools and businesses. People everywhere want cleaner products, and governments are investing trillions in a green economy. From eco-friendly shopping to major policy changes, the momentum is growing. The vision? A world powered by the sun, wind and Earth's heat, where our cars and industries don't pollute. Imagine cities with clean air, quiet streets and energy that doesn't harm the planet. This is the green dream, using science to fix the problems we've created and protect our only home. It's a promise to future generations that we can do better, and that change is possible. But as we'll see, building this future is more complicated than it seems. Every solution brings new challenges, from sourcing materials to managing waste. The path to a cleaner planet isn't always as green as we hope, but with innovation, determination and global cooperation we can move closer to a truly sustainable world. Here's the catch. When we talk about green technology, we often focus on its benefits, but rarely on the hidden costs. Making green tech isn't always clean. The process of building a cleaner future can sometimes leave a dirty footprint behind. Take lithium for example, the essential ingredient powering electric car batteries and much of our renewable revolution. Demand for lithium is skyrocketing but extracting it is draining precious water from Chile's Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on earth. Mining companies pump salty water from deep underground, evaporate it in vast ponds, and leave behind lithium but also a parched, altered landscape that may never fully recover. Flamingos and native trees are disappearing as water vanishes, threatening the delicate balance of this unique ecosystem. The green transition in one place can spark an ecological crisis in another. And it's not just lithium that poses these challenges. Solar panels and wind turbines rely on rare earth minerals, which are often mined using toxic chemicals that can pollute soil and water. Even hydroelectric dams, which seem like a clean solution, can devastate river ecosystems, block fish migration, and disrupt local communities. Every form of energy has a cost, sometimes hidden, sometimes severe, and often felt far from where the energy is used. The promise of green tech comes with real environmental trade-offs that we can't afford to ignore. We must face these costs, honestly and openly, if we want a truly sustainable future for everyone. The question isn't whether green tech is better, it's how we make it better, smarter, and more responsible. The journey to clean energy is messier than it looks, but understanding these challenges is the first step toward real progress. The environmental toll of green tech hits hardest in vulnerable communities. In the Atacama, indigenous people watch their water and traditions disappear as mining expands. They're rarely consulted, yet pay the price for a green transition that benefits wealthier nations. Who are the electric cars for? Not us, one resident says. But it's our water that's taken. True sustainability means listening to these voices and ensuring no one is left behind. A green future can't be built on the suffering of others. Green tech is our best hope against climate change, offering a path toward a cleaner, more sustainable future. But the reality is, it's not without its own set of problems and trade-offs. Mining for materials like lithium and rare earths, which are essential for batteries and electronics, can destroy fragile ecosystems, pollute water sources, and harm the health and livelihoods of nearby communities. Yet, fossil fuels cause global, long-lasting damage, air pollution, climate disasters, and millions of deaths every year. 
Their impact is felt in every corner of the world, from rising sea levels to extreme weather events. The harms of green tech are real, but mostly local and often temporary. Fossil fuels threaten everyone, everywhere with consequences that can last for generations. The challenge is clear. Don't let new problems grow as we scale up solutions. We must learn from past mistakes and innovate responsibly. Most experts agree, green tech is necessary for our survival but we must make it cleaner, safer and fairer for everyone involved, from workers to communities. We can't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Progress even if imperfect is better than inaction. Our mission is to make every step of green tech, from mining to manufacturing to recycling, just, responsible and truly sustainable for people and the planet. This is the ethical and engineering challenge of our time, demanding creativity, collaboration and courage. The future depends on how we meet it, together, with determination and hope. The good news? Solutions are emerging. In Chile, new lithium extraction methods could cut water use dramatically. Governments are stepping in, demanding higher standards and more local benefits. Scientists are inventing batteries with less harmful materials and pushing for better recycling. As old solar panels and electric cars reach the end of life, recycling can turn waste into resources. The shift to renewables is unstoppable, but we must keep improving how we make and manage green tech, demand more from companies and governments, invest in innovation, and listen to frontline communities. Green tech isn't perfect, but it's our best tool for a livable planet. Our job? Keep making it better, cleaner, and fairer for everyone.